Hey there folks and welcome to another Factorio Mod Spotlight. I'm Exterminator and thank you so much for joining me today. And uh, in this one we are covering the Ballistic Missile Mod. Uh, this is very new, uh, like 10 hours old as of recording this. And uh, already seems to have a decent amount of downloads. Um, and it looks pretty cool. So this is essentially like an alternative or maybe uh, upgraded version of artillery. It works very similar to artillery, uh, but allows some really cool combinations of things you can uh, do with it in terms of like types of damage and explosions and effects um, for, for firing on enemies. So um, I will say that the mod portal page for this is very, very well detailed and stuff. So anything I may not cover here, or you don't understand, I'm sure is covered on the mod portal page. It is definitely really well um, detailed and discussed there. Um, but basically, it adds these missile silos uh, here, which are fairly expensive, uh, more expensive, I'd say, than an artillery turret. Um, and you can build your ballistic missiles in these. They do not require power, uh, but you do need to make a rocket part um, for it. You, do, you only have to make one. <laughs> don't worry, you don't have to make like a hundred of these. Uh, you only make one of these to make the missile. Um, so you, of course, you do need power and stuff for the inserters and you have to feed them. So one missile is basically, this is the cost of it because you just need to make one of these. It is kind of slow to make it. Um, and I did test, you cannot, uh, th there's no model slots obviously, but then beacons do not work on it either. Um, but then you do make your ballistic missile and this is where it gets really interesting you can do all kinds of combinations for different effects of what's going to happen when you fire this. Uh, and there's a great uh, like infographic on the portal page for this, but you can combine different things to get different effects. So there's three rocket inventory slots here. Um, you could like just stick a nuke in here if you want, and we'll basically be a nuke. Um, that's like fired like an artillery would be. Um, you could do like poison, you could do fire, um, and it shows you everything you can do, or sorry, it shows you like the items needed to cause the effect, uh, but then you can combine them. So like uh, for spread, uh, like a spread effect is a cluster grenade. Um, and then it looks like you can maybe have like an anti-spread effect with um, lube is what it, looks like it's that part's a little confusing to me um but this is spread and then you could combine it with either a nuke or uranium uh according to this graphic and make like a maybe like a cluster or spreading nuke um or you could do like fire and spreading for like napalm um it's really cool so we're gonna go ahead and test it out uh, it does add a targeting a remote here as well it does not auto fire so that is one thing to know it does not auto fire on bases you have to manually fire this with a remote, or you can hook it up to a combinator, um, which I'll show you after we test this out, because I know you guys are probably waiting to test this out. Uh, so I'm actually going to try to get in range, uh, view range here of a base so we can actually see what's happening. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and target this. Um, so it should shoot, okay, yeah, so this one, <laughs> it's shooting uh, whichever missile silo is closest. Um, and is ready. So this one was actually closest to the base. Unfortunately, I had not loaded that with something. Um, so probably nothing happened. Um, so what we're gonna do is fire this one instead. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and target that. Um, now this one does have a payload in it, so it theoretically should have an effect on impact. And as you can see, that's like insane. So yeah, because we combine cluster grenades and uh, uranium, we had like multiple nukes drop here. So maybe some balancing needs to take place here. Uh, like that's super, um, super powerful for what I put in. Now, I don't know if the quantity matters. It doesn't say anything about the quantity mattering. Um, I don't know, I put like a hundred of each. I don't know if I had just done one of each, if it would not really work. Um, it doesn't mention anything about that, uh, but um, yeah, you can combine different things, get different effects. Now, for the Combinator, uh, you can kind of have it auto-fire in a way. Um, so you can't have it auto-target bases necessarily like artillery, but you can set coordinates. Um, so you go into the Combinator, uh, into the uh, you set a constant Combinator, and then you use X and Y to designate your coordinates. So uh, I would go in here and I would do like Y you know, whatever, 150, and then X, so that would be 
a coordinate of, let's just say that. So that'd be coordinates of y, 150x78, and then you put L for launch signal. Um, and then you would just connect it up to the silo and that would that tell it to launch. I don't, I don't know where this is, so I'm not gonna do it. Um, I don't wanna blow myself up. Uh, but um, I mean, if we ping, we can kind of get an idea uh, where this might be, but yeah, you would just connect this up and then it would just launch. Um, so why don't we do another test and load this with something different? Why don't we try, um, and I'm gonna switch up quantities with this as well. Why don't we go ahead and try like fire? So with fire, you can either do light oil, like a light oil barrel or uh, flamethrower ammo. We'll, we'll try a barrel and see what happens. I'm gonna just put one in here, see if it makes a difference. Um, we're gonna do fire and we're gonna do cluster again. See if maybe we can get some like napalm or something. Um, and then actually this one, uh, well, this, uh, yeah, I'm going to actually get rid of this one for now, just so we make sure we launch this one. Um, and then I'm going to go in view range here and test this and we'll see what happens. Uh, it's a little bit of a mystery. It's a fun experiment. You can combine all different kinds of stuff together. I certainly haven't tried them all. Um, so we're going to launch that. It should launch this and we'll see what happens. Okay. So the quantity does matter, which is interesting. So you can see it did create two fire spots. Um, so the general effect is what we wanted, but since I only put one of each, it was very, very small. So uh, the other one, the, the nuke one, maybe isn't quite as powerful, like as overpowered as I thought, uh, because it only did that because I put 100 of each in there. Um, so if I were to like load this with 100 cluster grenades and uh, maybe like 100 flamethrower ammo or something, uh, it would be more of a full napalm effect. Uh, but that uh, that's mostly the mod. Uh, and let's look at the, real quick the unlocks. Um, so we can look at maybe silo. So you can see here, it's definitely a late game research. 750 of these. It is surprising it does not require military. Um, and then settings as well. Uh, there are no mod settings. So it's just kind of out of the box uh, the way it is. And... Yeah, I think it's pretty neat. I really like the, the the fact you can just combine all different stuff together to get different effects um, and stuff like that. It's uh, it's pretty nice. And I am, I know the spotlight's going a little long, but I do really want to test this napalm effect again. Um, in fact, we're going to go a little overkill because since it has three slots, we can put a third thing in here. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, put in, I'm going to put in, uh, I'm going to put in poison cluster and flamethrower ammo and we're going to see what happens with this um obviously the napalm will probably kill the biters uh but i just want to see if it drops poison as well all right and you can see it is a pretty quick effect i don't know if like the farther away it is the longer it takes that would be quite possible oh dear okay so that was not quite <laughs> <laughs> what we wanted. Uh, maybe I put a little too much there or uh, the mod just needs some tweaking because uh, that hit everywhere but the base, actually. So that was a great test. Um, that That's maybe not quite what you would want. Uh, but yeah, you can just mess around with it, guys, and, and do all kinds of stuff. It, it seems super fun. Uh, but I'm not going to keep you any longer. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions or thoughts with this, leave them below. Um, or, you know, if there's issues or you have suggestions of something, leave them on the mod for discussion, the mod dev for this seems pretty active. Um, and so far, it seems like a really good start on this. There's a link, of course, in the description of this video to the mod portal page. Uh, and if you enjoyed, a like is appreciated. If you're new, welcome. And feel free to subscribe to keep up with future content. And until next time, I look forward to seeing you all and do take care.